In this lesson today, we're going to be working with translations. A transformation, which is what this whole chapter is actually about, is when you change one figure into another figure. Okay, you transform it. Think about the transformers in the movie. They transform from robots to different cars and automobiles. The image is the new figure after the transformation. So it's what you change it into. The transformation of um, the transformer into a car, the car is the image. It's the new part of what that figure turned into. What we're going to work on today is translations. Translation is when the figure slides. Okay, you guys have been using that term for a long time, but translation, and I like to think about the SL in the word, reminds me that the figure is just going to slide left, right, up, down, and every point of the figure moves the same distance and direction. So let's look at our first examples right now. We have to tell whether the light gray figure is a translation of the dark figure, and then we have to explain why. So a translation is when the figure slides. This first figure that I see is, yes, a translation because it didn't move or flip or rotate. Yes, a translation because the figure slid. So that is going to be what we have for this first example. Okay. Now I'm going to move to the right and look at these, uh, these rectangles. The rectangles are not a translation because the figure rotated. That's not a translation. It did not slide, but the figure rotated. That's another form of transla a transformation. Go ahead and try to do the next few on your own. I will give you a hint that a couple, or at least definitely one of them is gonna help you. A translation means that you are going to have the same size figures. The figures must be congruent, identical. So if you don't have congruent figures, it is not a translation. Go ahead and try the next couple on your own. Now we're going to use translations in a coordinate plane. The triangle has the following vertices, A, B, and C. So since we have these three vertices, which are points or corners of a, tri of a triangle, we're going to go ahead and plot them. So A is at negative 2, 1, and I'm going to label it A. B is at 2, 5, and you have to label it B. And C is at 1, 2, and you label it C. Make sure you connect the dots to make that triangle. Now the rest of the problem states, translate it three units to the right and three units down. And that's what I'm gonna do. So what I'm gonna do first is take my first point of A and I'm gonna translate it three units to the right and three units down. So I count to go over three, three units to the right and three units down. And I just count them and I put them there. Now this is also vertice A However, it is going to be the new image. When you do that, you put a little apostrophe at the, after the point, and that means it's A prime. It means it's the image of the original. Then let's do B. You go three units to the right and three units down, and you go ahead and label that as B prime because it's the image. I'm gonna go ahead and at least connect those. Now C. Now for C, we're going to go three units to the right and three units down as well. We're gonna plot our point, and then three units to the right, three units down, and label it as well. Now our figures should look identical. They're congruent, they're the same size. It's just that they had to move, and they did. So those are our new points. Now it says to write the new coordinates, so we're gonna do that right now. We have A prime, and that is coordinate one comma negative two. B prime is five comma two. C prime is four comma negative one. Please go ahead and try this example on your notes by yourself. You're going to plot the original point and then go ahead and translate it four units to the left and two units up. 
make sure that you label your vertices. Remember, the image of this triangle that you're going to make has a prime or an apostrophe after the A, B, and C. I'm going to show you a mathematical way of showing a transformation, especially this translation. The vertices of a square are A, B, C, and D. Draw the figure and its image after a translation of four units to the left and six units up. Now, if we're going four units to the left, we are going to be dealing with the x value of our coordinate, which is the first value. So if we're going four units to the left, we are actually going to take our original x value and you're going to subtract four from it because when you go to the left, that's a negative action. When we go six units up, we're going to deal with the y coordinate and you're going to take whatever y coordinate you have and you're going to add six because when you go six units up on a graph, that is a positive action. So before we even graph these vertices, we're going to fill out this chart and find out what the points are going to be mathematically. Then we're going to graph our coordinates and make sure that they're correct. So the coordinates of A are going to be 1 comma negative 2 initially. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the math. So for A, we're going to do 1 minus 4, and then we're going to do negative 2 plus 6. And that's going to tell us what our new coordinate's going to be. All I did was just plug in my x value, which was 1, and my y value, which was negative 2. Now I just add them. So A prime is going to be negative 3 comma 4. So let's go ahead and just graph this one first. So my original A is 1, negative 2. And I go ahead and I label that. Now my next value for A prime should be negative 3, positive 4. So I go ahead and graph that and also mark the prime. Now I just have to count and make sure I did it correctly. I was supposed to go 4 units to the left and then 6 units up. Did you guys count it? Was it right? Awesome! So go ahead and we're going to do B. B's coordinate is 3 comma negative 2. So what I do here is I'm going to do 3 minus 4, just plug in that x value, and then, oops, I didn't mean to put the parentheses there, did I? I put a comma. I put negative 2 plus 6. So go ahead and make those additions, and my new coordinate is going to be negative 1, 4. Make sure you put that prime after the B. So doing that, I go ahead and I plot my original B value, which is 3, negative 2, and I label. Then I go to negative 1, 4, and I label that as B prime. So again, count. Did I go to the right, or I'm sorry, to the left 4 and up 6? Looks like it. Go ahead and complete the square by completing C and D. Make sure you label everything correctly and also connect your points. This should be a square, so all four sides must be the same length. Try this last translation on your own. Keep in mind that you do have to do a translation of one unit to the left and two units up. Think about what you need to do mathematically to make that happen. If you have any questions, make sure that you ask me about it. But fill out, you have a triangle this time, so you have three vertices. You're gonna be doing A, B, and C. So keep in mind that you should have two triangles on your coordinate graph. And they should be labeled as A or A prime, B or B prime, C or C prime.